Welcome everyone. Um, hope I can do this in uh, four minutes like the previous one. Uh, originally, I would not be the presenter of this uh, talk. It's uh, Zubida Nemer from uh, Algeria, but she's still waiting for a visa. We are very sad that she couldn't make it. So uh, I'll be presenting about the WAP plugin uh, for uh, using uh, Vapor data from the FAO for water productivity agricultural uh, applications in QGIS. Um, so Vapor first had uh, uh, different versions, uh, limited to uh, Africa and the Middle East, um, with data available from 2009 at different resolutions, level 1, 250, level 2, 100 meters, and some uh, specific studies at 30 meters. But the great news is that uh, since October it's available uh, version 3, um, with data available from 2018 uh, for the entire globe. Uh, with the 300 meter resolution and then some regions at 100 and a 20 meter resolution. And uh, you can still access version 2 uh, and version 3 through these links. But so we have a WAPOR uh, portal where all these different data sets are available uh, for, uh, for use. And then many GIS experts, uh, in, especially in open source, use desktop GIS, QGIS, and need to use this data. And to facilitate that, uh, the uh, hackathon team of uh, uh, Vapor, uh, so we organized several hackathons at IHE, uh, they came up with a plugin, and it's still, I'm happy to see that still the team is uh, developing it further. And uh, what it allows you to uh, download the Vapor data uh, directly into QGIS and to calculate certain uh, water productivity indicators or irrigation efficiency indi indicators. So I'll guide you through a few of these screens. So this is uh, how you sign in with your uh, Vapor account for uh, Vapor version 2. And then you can access the different uh, data uh, sources and define the, the products and the time uh, range that you want, and it will download that uh, into QGIS. You can also clip it to a, to a boundary. And the same is possible for Vapor uh, version 3, a um, bit simpler interface, quite uh, recent that they built that into the plugin. And uh, you can then also calculate different uh, indicators, and it will give you some information about how the indicator is calculated and uh, what you need to feed uh, these algorithms to, to calculate those indicators. And uh, we um, uh, consider different uh, indicators at the moment, equity, adequacy, and beneficial fraction for all the definitions I refer to the uh, paper that was published, uh, otherwise it will take more time than I have here. Here are some more uh, indicators, relative water deficit, overall consumed ratio, depletion fraction, and uh, field application ratio. And in the paper you can read that uh, we applied this to a case study uh, here, Xinavan sugarcane plantation in Mozambique. And uh, here you see the temporal evolution of uh, evapotranspiration uh, and interception over this agricultural area. And you see that in uh, uh, March, this is the, uh, the highest where there's most uh, water used for irrigation and the uh, uh, crops are, uh, are high and other seasons is, is drier. Um, and here is a result of the performance indicators that can help uh, the farmers to see how, uh, in fact, every pixel performs. And we can see here a difference between uh, different types of irrigation, uh, like pivot irrigation or furrows. Um, of course, this uh, fantastic team of the WAP plugin has, uh, has great plans for the future. They want to uh, integrate uh, WAP or data validation. So with local uh, data that, uh, that you have, you can combine that with the WAP or data uh, to, to validate the results with standardized methods. And they want to include more uh, performance indicators uh, for uh, use by uh, farmers. If you want to know more, get in touch with the WAP plugin. They're on uh, social media. You can send them an email or uh, go to GitHub to see the source code and contribute or file your issues. That's it. Thank you.